Curtis Jones, three-time All-American for the Mountaineers here, and the oldest of the, the, the Jones brothers. Maybe the best looking, is that what you'd say? I wouldn't say that. <laughs> well, I didn't, almost, I didn't notice you when you walked in tonight. Uh, you didn't have the mustache. Yeah. Where's the mustache? Got to be a professional teaching now, so got to clean it up. <laughs> All right, Virtus. Uh, third, second, second, or was it second? Second, second third, second. Second, yes. third, second. Two-time finalist. Correct. Okay, we were talking about that. And third, pretty pretty good NCAA tournament finishes. Three-time All-American. But how important to you was it seeing that your brother Greg, the middle of you guys, was coming here? How did you feel about that, him coming here? Uh, I mean, I was excited. I mean, all along, I, I, I was going to allow him to be able to make his you know, choice of where he wanted to go to school. I wasn't going to interfere unless I saw him making a bad decision or whatnot. He let him go through the recruiting process and you know, do what he wanted to. You know, he, he used to come down often and visit as well, and he, he knew what was down here, and he knew the resources were available to reach his goals that he had at the next level. And I was excited. Um, bad thing is, you know, we weren't able to wrestle in the same lineup at the same time. I was, you know, five years older than him. So. But it was exciting. It was a great opportunity. And he, he was a young kid who knew what he wanted, knew what he wanted to accomplish. And uh, me being a grad assistant his freshman year, uh, it was pretty special as well because I got to be around, be able to, you know, not really show him the way, but just to be a, be a resource, be a big brother, what big brothers do, you know. And I was here and able to do that. And, you know, I thought it was just an awesome experience to be that coach slash brother for him uh, as he started, you know, his first two years here at WVU. You actually got to sit in the corner when he won his first NCAA title? Correct. What did that mean to you? Oh, I, I, I meant uh, that was tremendous. I mean, that was just special. You know, I had a goal of achieving, you know, winning a national title as well. And this is the next best thing, you know, being able to sit there and encourage and coach and help guide him to win a national title, especially at a, at a young age, you know. That was very exciting. And, um, you know, something that's irreplaceable, just being there in that corner for him is irreplaceable. Now you got Donnie here, the youngest brother. Uh, what's it mean that Donnie followed in yours and his footsteps? Well, Coach Turnbull used to always say one of his recruiting tools that he always went, and said, whenever there was a brother or sets of brothers at uh, WVU, you know, there was another little brother and did, didn't come to WVU that had an older brother at the university as well. So that's kind of one of his, always his uh, recruiting tools. You know, there was three of us, so he always assumed they were all going to come to WVU, and, and they did. And, um, you know, Donnie, you know, he's finding his own way, you know, just like I did, just like Greg did. And, I mean, it was special for him to, you know, finalize, you know, coming to WVU and to be a part of something great here. I mean, I don't think he really knew anything else besides West Virginia wrestling, especially after what Greg had accomplished here. And, you know, a young man coming here and being able to, you know, write his own book, start his own chapters and, and get on with attaining and, you know, working towards those goals that he has. All right, after being uh, getting a graduate degree, what are you up to in life now, man? Uh, teaching health and phys ed, trying to give back. Uh, you know, high school phys ed teacher and health teacher, also assistant wrestling coach. So just trying to be productive, trying to help out the kids, uh, you know, something to be excited, something to be positive a part of. So. You kind of alluded to it, but, you know, you said Greg winning that title and you being able to, uh, you know, be in the corner. Uh, did that almost make up for you falling short as a competitor yourself? I think at first it did, and after, you know, after a while, after he won second and after a third, you know, I'm like, you know, I still always wish I could have won mine, but it is what it is. I felt like I took more out of losing that national finals than, uh, than what I would have wanted. You know, I learned to accept losing and understand that, hey, there's always going to be some adversity that you got to overcome. You're not always going to get what you want to, you know, what you want to attain, but hey, you got to believe in the journey, uh, you know, have satisfaction in what you're doing and believe you did everything you can to go and achieve that dream. And, you know, it wasn't meant to be. I didn't, I didn't win it. I didn't achieve it. So, you know, life goes on. And as a young kid, it's always something I had a problem with was accepting losing and, you know, I lost, but, you know, life goes on. Many great opportunities I have because of the sport of wrestling, uh, and I'm thankful for that. All right, Virtus, we got to get over to the duel. It actually starts in about 20 minutes here. Thank you for the time. Yes, sir. Sounds and uh, what school What school are you coaching and teaching North at? North Hills. North Hills, and right you are the head? Pittsburgh. Assistant. Your assistant coach. Yep. Good luck the rest of the season. Thank you. Appreciate it.